Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we'll explore the constantly changing landscape of the training industry. This podcast is for anyone who works in the training industry who wants to gain insights from my over 30 years of experience in the training industry as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer assessor, and entrepreneur. Let me share with you the highs and lows of the training industry and how you can avoid the same mistakes that I have made as an RTO owner and seen as an RTO consultant in both compliance and business. Together, we can change lives through education. Hello and welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast, the show that helps you navigate the complexities of compliance and business success within your RTO. Hi, I'm Angela Connell Richards. In today's episode, we'll be covering how to recruit when there's no one to recruit, including the five steps, the benefits of hiring a virtual assistant, deciding which tasks to outsource, setting the standards, finding the right professional for the job, and onboarding your RTO VA. How to recruit when there is no one to recruit. Job vacancies are at record highs, but where are all of the candidates? It is predicted that the unemployment rate could reach 2.9% and some economists think it is possible. Unemployment is at an all-time low and job vacancies are at an all-time high. What does this mean? It means there are more people looking for staff than there are people looking for jobs. So what does this mean for your RTO? You may need to recruit elsewhere. And that's the reason why we have this webinar or this podcast, how to hire your RTO virtual assistant. When it's time to take your RTO to the next level, the natural first step is to hire a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is a service provider who takes over some tasks or aspects of your RTO. They're virtual because they don't work in the office with you but at some remote location where you're in touch with them through the internet. With your virtual assistant, you're ready to start growing your RTO and taking it to new places. What prompts many RTO owners to hire their first virtual assistant is the desire to get rid of simple tasks that slow down your work day. These are most often routine tasks that anyone can do. When you have to do everything yourself, these tasks bog, bog you down. If you can outsource them to a professional remotely, you'll have more time to focus on in more important things like growing your RTO. Hiring a virtual assistant can help you eliminate tasks you hate doing, although this shouldn't be the only reason why you should hire a virtual assistant. You can remove stressful tasks or ones that you're not good at. The hiring a virtual assistant doesn't just help you free up time in your schedule. It also allows you to achieve more than you could on your own. Your VA might have skills you don't have. They may be able to accomplish the tasks you delegate to them more quickly and efficiently than you can on your own. A VA can save you both time and money. Finally, hiring a virtual assistant allows your RTO to start growing. If your RTO is picking up, you may be struggling to do everything by yourself. You might find yourself at the maximum capacity and unable to earn more. You may have new needs as your RTO grows. Your VA can be the missing piece to your growth puzzle. Next steps. Are you hire, ready to hire a virtual assistant? Ask yourself, in what areas in your RTO are you struggling? Are there any tasks that you could delegate to be more productive? Is your RTO experiencing growing pains where assistant might help? Do you have the means to pay for a virtual assistant? Have you ever hired outside help? And if so, what worked and what didn't work? Dis step two, deciding which tasks to outsource. You perform a variety of tasks each day within your RTO, probably a lot more than you realise. Now is the time to think about how you fill your time so that you can make decisions about which tasks to delegate to your virtual assistant. Make a detailed list of every activity you regularly carry out. These could be daily tasks or tasks you have to deal with on a weekly or monthly basis. 
Start with the beginning of your day and visualise each thing that you do that's related to your RTO. Once you have an exhaustive list, it's time to narrow down to things that you can or should delegate. Not every task is appropriate for outsourcing. You want to make sure that you're picking the right ones. There are easy tasks. Anyone can do them. They don't require your unique skill or expert knowledge. For example, your experience within your industry sector. You couldn't outsource that. You couldn't outsource your knowledge that you have within RTOs. Tasks that you don't like. You shouldn't outsource a task simply because you don't like it. But if you could get rid of things that you don't like doing, this can have significant impact on your stress levels and improve your workday. For example, you might actually hate posting your blogs. You could have a virtual assistant to take your content and put it into a blog. They can easily work out the formatting, tagging and managing images. Weak skills. If you outsource tasks you're not particularly good at, you remove a troublesome task from your day and you also might find someone who can do it better than you can yourself. For example, it could take you hours to build a simple web page that simply doesn't look right. You could hire a virtual assistant who could create great looking pages within minutes. Time drains. Any task that takes a great deal of time out of your schedule when you could be handling more high-level or people-orientated tasks is a great choice for outsourcing. You may want to perform a time audit to see where you actually spend the time in the day. The results might surprise you. Choose a routine task that's hogging up a great deal of your time and find someone else to do it for you. Keep in mind, as you narrow down your list, Choose tasks to delegate based on the overall benefits of outsourcing them would have to your RTO. Be careful not to delegate core RTO processes or anything that requires a great deal of trust and handling of confidential information. Tasks that put your virtual assistants on the front line and in the direct contact with customers and clients. This is possible, but your VA will need to thoroughly understand your RTO and its protocols before they could do that. Processes or tasks where one small mistake could have huge repercussions. There are a variety of tasks that your VA could assist you with within your RTO, from development of training and assessment strategies to social media marketing. A mistake many entrepreneurs make, which leads to disappointment, is thinking that one person can do all of these tasks well. Think for a minute. If you're great at data entry, research and development, you might not be so good at graphic design or video editing. It's a completely different skill set. That's why it's vital to be really specific about who you want in your VA before you go anywhere near posting an ad. Once trained, you could have a VA developing your training and assessment strategies, including undertaking the tedious tasks of industry consultation collating feedback from students and industry to include within your training and assessment strategy. Another important task is collating all the evidence of qualifications and professional development from your trainers and assessors and creating a trainer's matrix. Developing your delivery and assessment plan as well as your session plans based on your training and assessment material. Your VA could also work with your trainers to refine the content within these documents. Another key drain on many RTOs is undertaking research of your industry sector and including that research within your training and assessment strategy. Wouldn't it be great if you could delegate all of your student management system tasks, having your VA set up all your online training and assessment, set up your courses and enrolling all your students? How many times have you been faced with a stack of enrolment forms that need to be entered into your student management system? Make it easy on all of your team by outsourcing this tedious task to your VA. Another task that I am sure so many RTOs would like to outsource is government funding claims, which is such a time waster but a crucial part for your RTO. 
So many RTOs have video content, especially since the pandemic, that is not being used and is not being put to good use. You could outsource this task to your VA who could edit your videos and add captions and titles as well as improve the audio and video presentation of your videos. You may even have content that could be converted to promotional videos for your RTO, which is a great asset to promote your training and your courses. How many times have you sat on a session where the presentation was, well, eh, blah? Your virtual assistant could take your existing presentations and make them more engaging and on brand for your RTO, creating a consistent brand of your RTO and all of its content. Keeping on top of your your social media marketing is another time-consuming task that could easily be outsourced to your virtual assistant. They can also undertake research into your industry sector and produce engaging content based on what is happening in your industry right now. This will not only attract more students but possibly employers to your RTO. What else could your VA do to reduce your workload? Download our free RTO VA task checklist that I have within the notes for this podcast. It is a checklist of all sorts of tasks that you could outsource to a virtual assistant. Next steps. Time taken to train. It's quicker to do myself. You already know what you're doing. You've been doing it a million times before. If you hire a VA, you'll have to train them and it will take longer than doing the task yourself. This may well be true in the short term, but if you're prepared to invest time in training someone who could take care of these routine tasks and take them off your shoulders, this will save you so much more time in the long term. Horror stories from others and bad past experiences. I can't go through this again. It's possible that you've tried outsourcing to someone in the past and it went drastically wrong. Or you have RTO colleagues who have shared their VA nightmare stories with you and maybe you or even they weren't prepared sufficiently or didn't spend enough time in the hiring process. There could be a multitude of reasons but none of them justifies giving up on the VA idea if you have a want to have a successful RTO. Step three, set the standards. It can be a challenge working with someone on the other side of the world. This is why you need standards that will make the work go more smoothly. A standard is a written description that your virtual assistant can learn from and refer to. It shows them how to do the job and what, how it's supposed to be done so that there's consistency In addition to explaining the job step by step, it also includes best practices and tips. If you've been doing everything yourself up until now, you probably don't have any written standards. Before hiring a virtual assistant, you need to document your processes 